Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you a classic by Janis Joplin. This is Bobby McGee. This is the next request on my request page at Rainy Day Guitar. Um, you can go to rainydayguitar.com and you can print off the words with the chords above it and a picture of the one chord that that you may not know. <laughs> I'm naming something. I don't know if it's right or not, but anyway, and I will then I will. So let me play it through once and I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. Okay. I cannot do justice to Janis Joplin's voice. She can really belt and I cannot. So just bear with me. Here we go. Okay. <laughs>
be able to see that. <laughs> All right, you can see the chords are not too hard. This is really, really a piece of cake. I don't know why I'm putting my guitar down because I'm going to show you how to do it now. All right, so we're going to start on a G, okay? And it has a key change, but it's really easy. You don't even have to move your capo or go to bar chords. It's super easy, all right? So the, the hardest part and the most fun part about this song is the beginning. If you want to just play a G, them do. I heard them, so I'm going to grab a G instead of like this with my tall man up on the sixth string, I'm going to grab a G with my ring finger on the sixth string. Pinky on one and tall man on five. That is how the other half of the world plays a G. I play it like this, the other half of the world plays it like this, about half and half, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do, and I've got the intro typed out for you right here because it's really fun, okay? So you're going to go bass down, pause, up, down, up, do that again on the G bass is six. Six down pause. I've got a little comma that means pause. Up, down, up, down. And then I'm gonna leave these guys where they're at and I'm gonna take off my tall man and my, my pointer's not playing anything, but I'm gonna go down and play the bottom half of a C. So pointer on the second string first fret, and my tall man on the fourth string second fret, and I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. Maybe I'm not hearing the bass note, but I'm for sure hearing the one. So I kind of... You could go... I was not hearing that... I wasn't hearing a full C. I was hearing just these top two guys. Okay, so what I was doing, and I'll tell you a little trick. So on the G, and I'm going to drop my tall man down, add my pointer on the second string, first fret, and then I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. But here's the problem. My fifth string, if I were not muting him, he would be clashing. So I'm deliberately laying down on the job with my ring finger and muting the fifth string. So it gets... So you are not hearing this. You don't want him. You want this. You want the sound of a C, but you want your pinky on one and your bass note on on six, okay? Oh man, I'm doing a terrible job. Okay, so start with a G, and here's, so that's what, I'm calling this a C5, because I'm kind of adding, I'm adding the fifth note, but I'm also going to keep this as a bass note, this G as a bass note, okay? So I should say C5 slash G, maybe I'll go fix that. It's not what it says right now, but it might by the time I put it up. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the beginning. Whew. Okay, so G, and we're going to go bass, down, pause, up, down, up, down, then drop those guys down so it's the bottom half of a C, and go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? And then go back to your G and go bass, down, down, then your C5, up, down, up, back to a G, bass, down, pause, up, down, up. I, I really listened carefully, and that is what I heard them do, and I've got it all typed up. It's pretty hard to do if you're just listening. But if you're listening and reading, you can hear it, okay? Let me do it again. I'm going to do it really slow. On this G, this is kind of a G, not like that, but like this, because you need your pointer finger free. It's going to go on the second string, first fret, okay? Bass, down, pause, up, down, up, down, switch to the next guy, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, back to a G, bass, watch it. If you print it out and it's got it all typed up, that's what it says. Now I'm going to do it without calling out the chords. I'm just going to kind of do it on a G. Bass, down, pause, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, pause, up, down, up. That's your intro. Cool, huh? Isn't that fun? Okay, then the rest of the song is a piece of cake. Okay, so you can kind of do whatever you want. You can kind of go bass down, up down, and bass down, up down for your strum, or you can even go bass down, down, up down, and bass down, down, up down. And when I get tired of that, I kind of go back to my old standby, which isn't typed here. Maybe I'll remember to do that. I kind of go bass, bass. Oh, I don't need to do bass. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. So down. 
down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up works really well too. Down, down, up, down, down, it's a little boring, okay? But you could do it here and there if you wanted to, but I, I kind of like the, sometimes I'll just, I won't even pluck it with my thumb, I'll just kind of hit it on a G or an E, okay? That's a really easy bass note hit. But anyway, you get the idea. You don't even have to look. You can just kind of hit it with your pointer, and then you can do your strum. It's super easy. Okay, here we go. So back to a G, okay? And I'm going to go to a G, a D. Bass note is D. G. G and D and G seventh and A and A seventh and E and E seventh. All of those chords are on my beginning tab at rainydayguitar.com. Beginner, go to the beginner tab, second or third item down. I always forget which it is. Anyway, the chord sheet, okay? And they're all on there. Okay, so feeling near as faded as my jeans. I'm gonna go board down, pause up down, and board down. So I might just switch my strum up. The G. Now I'm going to go back to this G because this is the only place in the song where I heard him go. Okay, it's the only place where I heard it. Doesn't mean it's the only place I did it, but that's the only place I typed it and heard it. So what I did there on that G was I went bass down, pause, and then I dropped down to your C5 and went up, down, up, bass. Type that out, but it's kind of the same thing that we did. But let me tell it to you one more time. This is on the word New Orleans, second line, end of the second line. G, bass, down, pause, switch to a C5, up, down, up, go back to the G, bass, down, pause, up, down, up. So it sounds like this. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained, took us all the way to New, or to New Orleans. You don't have to. C, blues. Five is your bass note. Blues. When she was slapping time, I was holding Bob's hand to mine. We sang every song that time. I'm going to kind of be soft on that part, kind of just a little bit. C. For, now I might stop doing the bass note, I might start strumming.
my ring. Make it an E7. Okay, now I'm back to the chorus. I'm getting tired of the basing, so I'm going to go back to strum. She doing what she doing. If you don't have this song memorized, it really does help to have the la di da 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 So I'm just going to tell you what I did. I said the A gets 12 beats, the E gets 4, the E7 gets 12, and the A gets 4. And then you're going to do, so that's a total of 32 counts, three times. But on the last time, the last 16 counts, you're going to come in and go la da 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 the end of the song if I could sing it better it's so much nicer okay here we go so I'm gonna do the guitar part and I'm gonna kind of count it through how many times so a 12 times <laughs> I'm going to skip to the third time and the last 16 counts when I get to the when I start over on the E7 12 I'm going to come in on the la da 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 da's and put on the A okay so it's going to sound like this one this is the third time one two three four five six seven eight up your ring finger, go to an E7 and start singing. La -da -da. is Bobby McGee. Thanks for the request. That was really fun. Okay, again, you can go to rainydaycatar.com. You can print this off. The words and the chords, a picture of that. What I'm calling a C5, but I might change it to a C5 bass G because it really does have a G. Okay? All right. Okay, hopefully that will get you through it. And have fun with that. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.